morning, he visits a unique retirement community. As managers of a Florida retirement community, Debbie and Bert Fletcher have grown quite accustomed to the frequent bellowing of the residents. Where's my meal? Bring me some water. What's with this weather? And you know what really bothers them? When there's nothing good to watch on TV, that makes them go ape. Leave it to the Fletchers, though, to deal with every outcry in a personal manner. Yes, Donna, thank you. While keeping the lines of dialogue cheerfully open to the 60-some residents of Palm Harbor, Florida's Chimp Farm, a retirement home for showbiz monkeys and apes, including, shouldn't we have a little fanfare for this fella? Hit it, Johnny. Could it be Cheetah? Cheetah. He's Cheetah. <laughs> well, I'll be a, dare I say, a monkey's uncle? Yes? No. Cheetah's in his late 60s. That's old for a chimp? Very old. Most of the chimps in the United States in captivity only live 25 to 35 years. Oh, and that's Gory. Surely you recognize Gory. Come on, the old Timex commercials. He tore the band. He bit on it. Then he started throwing it. Then there's Otto from the American Tourister ads and all kinds of graying retirees from zoos, circuses, carnivals, even research labs. We have the same basic concepts and programs that nursing homes for humans have. Residents stay busy rearranging their living room furniture, interacting with the enrichment coordinator. You want a ball? Or simply playing word games. Show the teeth. Good girl. Where's your nose and your ears? Then, of course, there's always TV. The gorillas are very fond of football. And Trubetti with a big burst. And the chimpanzees are very fond of game shows. And now, here is the host of Jeopardy, Alex Trebek. Seizing the opportunity to win new viewers and improve our demographics, I took a huge gamble and switched channels. Not a good idea. Uh, they don't really care for the news that much. As for the people who don't really care to see any animal in a cage or on display... You have to remember, all the animals that you're seeing here now would be destroyed if it wouldn't have been for the chimp farm. Too old for the movies, too much trouble for the zoos, unable anymore to adapt to the wild, no longer useful as medical experiments. In other words, disposable. You show me one here that's disposable, because I haven't met them yet. Modest admission fees, volunteer help, and fundraising have allowed the Fletchers to keep their shoestring operation going, even plan for new, more spacious enclosures. Now, if we could only talk them into changing channels. For today, Mike Leonard, NBC News, Palm Harbor, Florida. Here are the categories you're going to be dealing with. Nuclear physics. Katie was a little insulted by that. Take it personally. 822, we'll be right back. <laughs>